Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I am trying, finally trying, <laughs> the indie brand Fantasy Cosmetica. I picked up the Rogue palette because the colour story was just, yeah, a bit of me. Gorgeous. Um, so yes, if you would like to see how I created this look and hear a few of my first impression, first thoughts of this palette, then just keep on watching. I'll be there at the after party, show up looking like a zombie, it don't matter, nobody stop me, I'll be there, just tell me where. Okay, so please excuse the state of my skin, it's having a bit of a tantrum, um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and use as many of these shades as I can because they are so stunning, you will have already seen the swatches, so I'm first going to go into shadows which is this really beautiful green and i'm going to place that or oh, i did prime my eyes with the p louise base in rumor zero two nothing new there so yeah this is my first time trying fantasy cosmetica i've been so excited i'm just taking this on the inner part inner part of my crease there it's got some really nice pigment. I was really impressed with the swatches. Not that you can really tell exactly what they're going to look like on the eyes from the swatches. Um, but yeah, and the shifts in the, the shimmers is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I am so excited to try this. I've had this for a little while. Um, I didn't manage to get any filming done last week, um, personal reasons, and but yeah, I'm back, I am back, and this is gorgeous. Okay, so that is really nicely pigmented, so I am next going to go into Cunning, which is this shade here, and close the palette apparently <laughs> now I have been so excited to try this I've seen so many uh, amazing creators using palettes from Fantasy Cosmetica and loving them and so I had to pick one up and this is the colour story that really screamed to me the most so I went with Obviously, the, the colour story that I liked the most rather than just going with the newest. Sorry if you can hear Jay snoring. <laughs> Bless him. He is snoring away a good and over there. This is beautiful shade absolutely stunning and they're really nicely pigmented but blending out well okay i do have to say i was really surprised like with the shimmers when i swatched them um they they really do surprise they didn't look like exactly how i thought they were gonna look which I'm always happy about. I do love the shifty shades. I'm going to go into um, what you call stealth. This lighter kind of minty, greeny blue. Um, and I'm just going to use that to blend the inner part out. Mm. 
this again it's nicely pigmented it's not kind of completely overtaking shade under it which I like I really wanted to go for a more kind of deep deep look I don't know I just thought it kind of went with the theming oh well <laughs> okay so I think I am now going to use Subtle, which is the purple, and I'm going to use that to blend out the outer part. Oh, it's very pigmented. It's more pigmented than I was expecting. I only, I only barely tapped that in. Okay, very pigmented. It's okay, we can just work with it a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, this purple was a lot more pigmented than I was expecting, but I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. It's a, a beautiful shade. Yeah, it's very pretty. That. I really hope that my my dog snoring isn't too loud if you're not hearing it because I can hear it very loudly so I apologize if you can oh this is nice okay Oh, that is looking beautiful. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in to the back through the shades just to bring bring the the deeper shades back a little bit. So we don't completely lose them in the blend. Okay, so going into the shimmers, I'm first going to go into Deception, which is this beautiful shade here. I'm not sure what what colour you're seeing, the kind of sea green, blue or purple, um, it is absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. So I'm going to place that on the outer part of my lid and into the outer edge there, look at that. It's gorgeous, absolutely stunning. So I had in my head what shades I was going to use and then I swatched and completely changed my mind. Um, so yeah, it's always better not to, not to plan. I think I'm always happy with my looks when I haven't planned it out. I think, look at that. It is gorgeous. A shift in that that is looking stunning and then I'm gonna go into sleight of hand this one here again I'm not sure what colors you're gonna be seeing but when I swatched this one oh I'm in love with this shade completely and utterly in love with it it is so beautiful I'm just hoping that you're going to see the shifts on camera the same way that I'm seeing them because, oh my God. To be fair though, it looks even slightly different, I suppose, because I'm putting it next to another colour. Oh my God, this is just, this is so beautiful. Look at that. taking it a bit higher because of my nice hooded eyes but wow that is so stunning that is stunning i'm just going to go back into cunning a little bit and just blend blend that in a bit more i might actually nip into 
the black just a touch just to give it that extra bit of depth so I'm just gonna dip ever so slightly into assassin and just pop a tiny bit of that just in this outer area here just a tiny bit just to add just a little bit of extra depth Ooh. oh wow i am absolutely obsessed with how that's looking look at those shifts okay guys i'm gonna nip off and finish my face and then i will come back to show you the finished look and let you know what my first thoughts are on the beautiful rogue palette from fantasy cosmetica so if you would like to see that i hear that then don't go anywhere Okay, my beauty, so I'm back with the finished look. I'll come a bit closer so you can see. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Before I have a chat about the palette itself, I just want to let you know a few things I popped on my face. So I will go in with my under eyes first because obviously I did go back into the Rogue palette and I have the shade Assassin right up against my lash line. I blend it out with Subtle. I think I'm reading that right. I haven't got my glasses on. Um, I popped, what are you called? Sneak Attack on the inner part of my lower lash line. And then on my waterline, I went in with the Danessa Myricks Infinite Chrome Micro Pencil. It's the multi-chrome eyeliner pencil in the shade Lilac Quartz. And um, this was a gift from my beautiful friend Darcy. And I love it. And I think it goes so beautifully with these shimmers. Um, the water activated liner I used is from Altitude Cosmetics, one of the Cake It liners. This one is the shade Pride. And um, oh my god, I love this. Um, I do have a discount code with Artitude Cosmetics. Any brands I have a discount code with, I'll pop it on the screen and it'll be in the description box below for if you want a discount and it'll say whether or not they're affiliated. Okay, so <laughs> the mascara I used is from Be Perfect. It is the Lash Out Mascara. I've been loving it. The lashes are from Artitude Cosmetics. I don't know the name of these ones. These were gifted to me. Um, I love the Artitude Cosmetics lashes for bronzer, bronzer contour. I went into the Beauty Crop Cocoa Bronze palette and I used this shade here. Um, for blush, I went into the Beauty Crop Cocoa Rose palette, the blush palette, and I used this, this shade here for highlighter and also for my inner corner and brow bone highlight i use the beauty moon cosmetics enchanted palette i love this um and i used for my inner corner i used the green for my brow bone highlight i used the yellow and then for my face highlight i used the pink and yeah i just wanted to use a few of them i felt like it and then my lips is the beauty moon cosmetics lip icon liquid lipstick in the shade m39 this is just my favorite lipstick at the moment i am loving this guys seriously i need to get back up so what did i think of the fantasy cosmetica rogue palette firstly i love the packaging it is so beautiful yeah love it and i love that on the back you've got the fantasy cosmetica and it's in that kind of metallic -y. it looks really pretty uh the color story is absolutely stunning right up my alley i just i fell in love with this color story so of course this was going to be the one that i picked up to play with and the mattes are super pigmented, really blendable. The shimmers are absolutely stunning. They're more like duochrome, multi-chrome, duochrome. They're stunning, absolutely stunning, especially what you call sleight of hand, this one here. It is like magic. It's the one I have on the 
inner part of my lid absolutely amazing i'm super impressed so i'm so happy to have tried another indie brand and yeah so this this baby would i recommend it hell yes i would i think it is gorgeous so that's about it for me for today i'm so happy to be back i've probably rambled a bit because it's been over a week since i filmed anything but i really enjoyed this and i hope you have to if you have liked this please do give the video a like if you are new if you've just come across my channel hi welcome i'm steph i love indie brands i love colorful makeup i just i love playing with makeup it it's my therapy i love it um for any of you returning thank you so much for watching i love you all so very much and i hope you're all having a great day great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon bye yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it Looking like the world is your runway She can set it off like a gunplay Oh my, yeah Talk of the city with the party Always getting praised like it's Sunday She said, baby, what you gonna do?